It's been a whirlwind of change for him this year, and he's seen a ton of positive results. And it's been uh, really, really fun to watch, especially for a guy that's, that's put in a lot of work over the years. And to be at this point and have the success that he's having right now is really special. In terms of minor league baseball, Kyle Higashioka has been around for a very long time. A 2008 seventh round selection by the Yankees, the 26-year-old catching prospect has seen it all. Early success, struggles, injuries, and finally, redemption. After eight long seasons of grinding through the farm system, Higashioka entered free agency after 2015, but eventually elected to stay loyal to the franchise who drafted him. You know, my number one factor was just opportunity. I know the system and, and I, I really like, you know, the guys running it and, and they've been good to me, so I, I thought it was my best opportunity. In 2016, Higashioka broke out, totaling career best numbers in just about every single offensive category, and it wasn't even close. Part of this can be attributed to finally being healthy, but there was also a change in his mindset. He came to spring training this year with a new outlook on hitting, with a new approach of what he wanted to do mechanically. You know, I did some stuff with my swing plane over the offseason where I tried to be a little more consistent, um, especially hitting off-speed pitches, something I was never good at in the past. It's, I've been a lot better this year, and I think that's really helped. He's really aggressive to fastballs early in the count. I mean, if it's something that's drivable early, he's going to put his best swing on it, and he's always looking to do damage. It's never good when I, whenever I try to hit home runs, so I think it's just the, the mechanical stuff has fallen into place, and it's, it's led to you know, some, some power numbers. Sometimes as coaches, we see the aggressiveness and we want to harness that. But with him, I want to embrace that. Like, this is who he is. Like, he's not going to be a guy that walks 150 times a year, and that's okay. Because he's a guy that can impact. He's a guy that can slug, hit doubles, hit homers, drive guys in. And I want to embrace that. You know, we got a guy on third, less than two outs. He's very dependable and putting the ball in play. Just like anything in this game, if you get a little taste of success early when you make some changes, man, you'll take off. And it breeds so much confidence when you can do that. Going back to his high school years, one thing that's never been in question is the quality of Higashioka's defense. His age and maturity have allowed him to grow into a leadership role that makes both his coaches and pitchers feel at ease when he's behind the dish. I think the most important thing for a catcher is that pitcher-catcher relationship, and he's done a great job of that. Pitchers love throwing to him. They, you know, he has a really good influence on them. He is one of the best game callers that I have thrown to, if not the best. He knows what to call, when to call it. I feel very confident when I go out there and he's, he's behind the dish. He's so low-key, which is a great demeanor, I think, to have as a catcher with your pitchers. I think one of the best things as a catcher is knowing that pitchers want to throw to you. That's one of my number one things is, is trying to build a rapport with them and figure out the best way to call a game for each of them individually since you know no one's the same. Hikishioka spent most of 2016 as an everyday player for AA Trenton, but when phenom Gary Sanchez was called to the majors, Higgy became the starting backstop at the AAA level. His offensive production continued in Scranton as he hit 10 homers, 9 doubles, and 30 RBIs in just 39 games, helping the Rail Riders to their first AAA national championship in franchise history. Oh, I just wanted to show you know, the, the, the team or, or, you know, I guess anybody else that, um, you know, I could do the job up there and I just didn't really change my mindset, just continued to try to play my game. You know, you get to play with a lot more guys with, you know, major league experience and, and you get to learn from them and uh, it's, it's a good atmosphere and it was awesome to be able to do well up there. You can see more Yankees on demand and scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right here.